Hello world, thank you for coming to my channel, The Life of Poon. How are you doing today? I am feeling fabulous. I am feeling great. I am letting life flow through me. I am feeling my bliss. I am living my best life and I advise you to do the same. So today topic, what I want to talk about is taking back your mental. And as always, I always have to go with a story because hopefully it can relate to you in some possible way. Who knows, Marianne? So I let people control me my whole entire life because not only was I just doing what everybody else wanted me to do and be the person everybody wanted me to be to make them comfortable and do the things that they wanted me to do to make them comfortable. You see, I was living my life for other people and not living my life for me. I was letting other people take control of my mental because I wasn't going after what I wanted in life. I wasn't doing what I wanted in life. And I'm not saying that all your, like everybody that is coming at you telling you what you should do and what you shouldn't do is wrong. You can listen, but ultimately you have to listen to yourself because if you continue going down a path of trying to make others happy and acting like your happiness don't matter, you is so lost. I was so lost. And... I went through depression. I went through self-hate. I went through the ghetto. Because I was just so like, just worrying about everybody else, but not worrying about me. I was allowing other, others to dictate my life. I allow others to make me feel low about myself by continuously being around people that always wanted to hate on me. And the reason why I stayed around them hating on me was because I didn't want to leave and feel lonely. And I felt like, oh, they're my friends. Oh, they're just playing this and that. When in all honesty, them just playing was dimming my own light, was making me feel less confident about myself, was making me feel like I was an outcast. They were making me feel like my life was just shit. And it's crazy now that I think back on it because it's like, yo, I was so lost. I was so naive. I was so like, just like, I don't even know. Maybe it was the weed. And I just allow others to be a part of my circle of friends that didn't respect me. They didn't honor me. They just used me. And it ultimately taught me the valuable lessons in my life that I can't allow people in my circle because allow people in my circle that's negative because I became that negative energy. I became that self-hate person that they were putting in my ear. It was a constant battle every day of arguing with people, of feeling like less than because of people, because I was allowing them to affect my mental. I wasn't doing what I wanted to do with my life. I was just trying to please other people my whole life and nurture everybody. And everybody would come to me. Oh, you're my best friend. Oh, you're my friend. Oh, you're my friend. My, my blah, blah, blah. Bitch, cut the act. Because I'm not all of that. Because what have you done for me? And I understand we shouldn't live like where we feel like wanting things in return. But at a certain point in time, if we in a relationship, a friendship, whatever type of relationship it is, I need to receive something. It can't just be me giving, 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 and you just taking, taking, taking. So no, nah, squash that. We not doing that. And that's one thing that I really had to learn. I was allowing people to affect me because I was allowing them in my circle when they didn't respect me and didn't need to be there to begin with. I allow others to derail me from my dreams 
because I would express my my dreams and I would try to express myself and they would tear me down, which made me feel like, oh, my dreams. Oh, that was stupid for me to think like that. When it's like, nah, stop allowing people to affect your mental. You have that dream for a reason. You have your intuition telling you what you need to do with your life for a reason. Don't listen to other people when they come in from a negative place because the only reason why they said certain things about me and said certain things about my dreams was because one, they liked me because one, they saw that I was up here and they was trying to get to that level. And two, I mean, three, they couldn't even believe in their own dreams. So they didn't want to support me and mine. And I had to realize that my circle, my boundaries matter because if I constantly let people walk over my boundaries, then they're going to do and wreak havoc. And I'm not having it, Miss Thing. Miss Thing, no. Exit left. I allow others to make me feel like I wasn't enough by them constantly talking their shit and me feeling like, oh, I got to defend myself. Oh, this, oh, that. And the lesson of it all is focus on yourself. Focus and determination will lead to a better you. If you feel like people is not having your best interest in heart and not caring about your feelings and not building you up, let them go. I spent majority of my life trying to please everybody else, but I wasn't pleasing me. Don't make that mistake because you will regret it.